Let's talk Phil Brown. Not that long ago, managing the Premier League. Now in League Two, and uh, he's doing a pretty good job actually. South End in the playoffs. Look like they're going to stay there. Um, again, I, I think we probably write managers off a little bit too quickly at times. He's, he's dropped down a couple of divisions. And he's doing pretty well. Isn't he? he is doing well. Yes, uh, South End, as you say, flying high in the playoffs. And to think he was managing in the Premier League not that long ago is quite is quite a strange one. But he could be in League One um, soon enough if if they go up. But their, their defence has been very solid. Nineteen clean sheets. Uh, this year, I believe. I mean, Phil Golden Brown's doing all right, isn't he? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Golden Brown. Yeah, he's doing all right. Um, yeah, I think sometimes we can write managers off too too quickly. Yeah, you know what I mean, but the way football is now, it's just a results based, isn't it? You know, that's and, the trouble, isn't it? And For people the in charge just panic, and they just want to uh, results and win. So. Off goes the manager and comes a new one. It's an instant gratification process, really, yeah, isn't it? I, I think we do write managers off too quickly at times. I think that um, I look back at my time at Charlton. You had a it, few there in a short well, space of time, did. didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, Alan Kirby should have been there such a long time. Yeah. Ian Dowie took the reins. They mm. gave him quite a bit of money to spend as well. Yeah. Uh, three or four months into it, they sack him. Mm. You know, he, he's had no time really to implement his ideas onto the squad, yeah. uh, integrate the new players into the system uh, and how he wants to play. And all of a sudden, he's gone. Les Reed then took over. He got mm. seven games. Um, before he was sacked and then Alan Pardew came in. But I, I personally felt that Ian Dowie should have had more time at, at that stage. But does that unsettle players? Because some players, they're used to a manager's way of playing, they're used to his tactics, used to his training methods, all that kind of stuff. I've seen it this year, haven't we, with Man United? Well, haven't we just, yeah. <laughs> Someone who's been at a club such a long time and, and everyone's so used to his methods and how he, how yeah, he works well, and how yeah. he runs the club, that all of a sudden, when that's gone, yeah. you know, someone else comes in and the players go, oh, not sure about this, not sure about that. Mm. And I think Ian Dowie found that at, at Charlton and paid the price for it, if I'm honest. Well, a team lacks our identity, doesn't it? If they yeah. don't have a manager and they, they, they mess I, around. I, I, I think sometimes the upstairs should be a little bit more patient. I think you look at Liverpool. If mm. they had got rid of Brendan after the, the start he had, they wouldn't be where they are now. I mean, a bit of patience, someone to put their identity, the ethos in the team, I, and then look at it now. I'll tell you what, just on lead two as well, there's mm. another one there. Yes. Just underneath South End, York City. Right. Nigel Worthington. They survived the last day mm. of the season last year. And look at them now. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they're in the playoffs again. They look like they're going to probably stay there as well. Nigel Worthington, not that long ago, was managing at a much higher level. Yeah. International yeah. football. And he's taken York at a difficult time when yeah. he kept them up last season. And now they're on the verge of the playoffs. Lovely. Yeah, listen, I think as a manager, like a player, you have uh, confidence in your ability. And I think that's why them managers go down and prove they've still got it and can take a team at a lower level uh, up. And I think it's, it shows good coaching because sometimes it's easy to manage top players because you haven't really got to do much. Mm. Just go down a few levels and actually coach players and get the best out of players. I think that is um, true coaching and management. We've been talking Phil Brown, Southend fans. Is he the right man to take you forward and win promotion to League One? Let us know on Facebook.